and all that. We are in the car, live from the car, uh, with hello. Riley, my youngest, he's just saying hello. Um, what I'm going to do is just a nice easy way of doing an updates video, basically, to let you guys know what's going on in between picking up, well, basically just before I pick up my boy uh, from school. So we've got a few minutes to burn, nice little way to let you know what's happening. So first, that's baby Yoda in the background. Yeah, yeah, indeed. So first, what is happening with the bees? So the bees have been, they've had a weird few weeks, really. So they've had a weird few weeks and swarming has gone a bit mad and all that sort of stuff. So what I've done is I've kind of just left them alone for a couple of weeks just to leave them, to let them sort themselves out. Got eggs in there. They've got bits and pieces in there just basically to allow them to do what they need to do. And what I've... um. Press the buttons. So what basically what I want to do, I just want to give them a couple of weeks to sort themselves out and then we're going to go back in. Now today's Wednesday, I think. Tomorrow I'm hoping to get up to the yard, hoping to get into the hives to be able to check them over to make sure they're all right, see what they're doing, see what they're growing and basically just give them a complete check over. We are coming into June, so it's May now. June, is it May still? June next month. It's nearly June if it's not already. And there's a few concerns about the June gap, which people get. Now, I, for the last few years, haven't noticed a June gap and haven't really experienced that for quite some time. First couple of years I did. So 18, 19, 2018, 2019, I kind of noticed it. But the last couple of years, I haven't really noticed it. And so that being the case, I'm not overly concerned about it this year. The reason being the brambles are already starting to come out, so there should be a good source of food. I haven't taken a spring harvest out of the myvus so there should be some food in there for them as well so not concerned about a june gap uh, at this point but that might change if i hello. i beg your pardon hello. hello so that might change if i look into the hives tomorrow so we'll see um so that's bees so hopefully we're going to get into them tomorrow check them all over obviously a decent video hopefully to follow with that one as well uh so bees well done so moving on to what we're doing with the yard Van, ran a boat. Okay, that's not easy for someone to say that can't say their R's and V's very well. Ran a boat. That, yeah. A little while back on my community page. Um, basically asking what people want to see or what should I be doing at the bottom half of the yard. Now, it is quite a big section of yard. And the plan was originally going to be to put in... Um, well, I've had so many plans down there. I was going to put in uh, a, new, a new shed down there. I was going to be putting sunflowers down there. What I quite like to do, so what I've tried for ages, is um, a grapevine or a little vineyard sort of area. But there's obviously been a mix to that about having that put up and also putting in some uh, wildflower. So what I'm going to do is I am going to do a bit of a mix. I'm going to do a mix of flowers in there and I'm going to do a few vines as well. So that's going to be hopefully started tomorrow as well. Now, if I've got time, by way of starting, I don't mean I'm building anything or planting anything at the moment. I just need to get it all strimmed down and I need to get it all as tidy as I can and I need to rotivate it all and all that. That's going to be a job in itself. So I went down there a week ago, a couple of weeks ago now, and the grass was up to, well, it was up to well past my waist, basically. The grass is really, really long. So I need to get down there. I need to get it tidied up, first of all, before I can even consider getting anything built or planted down there. But that's going to be how things change over the next probably say 12 months really so 12 months that's probably going to be the plan now so we're going to go down there we want to try and put some grapes down there put some vines down there we're going to put some uh, so we are going to put some wildflower down there and i also get i'm not too sure why still but my bank send me magazines um with seeds in them and i have i've got no idea as to why i'm getting these magazines but i'm getting them and i'm, I'm not paying for them so i'm not going to argue with them but every every like month they send me a, a like a gardener's world or something like that and it's got some seeds in it. No idea what the seeds are. I can't for the life of me recall. Actually, I've got some in here saying that. Here we go. So I've got some cosmos. I've got some of them. I've got some different types of cosmos, some of them. I've got I'm not too sure why I keep them in the glove box in my car either, or the centre console of my car either, but that makes sense. we got some of them, and we have got some wildflowers as well. So that's what I've got in my car, but I've got about 10, 15 packs of these things in my at home, in the garage. And um, 
hopefully I said I can chuck some of those in the ground as well. A, it gets them out my house, and B, it's well, it's free seeds at the end of the day. So, yes. Cracking. So I love you, Joe. So the, ah, so the plan is we're gonna <laughs> all right. So we're um get that all rotated down. And we'll get that in the ground. We'll get the. We'll probably buy some more wildflower seed mix as well. We're going to chuck that in the ground as well. Okay. Yes, Riley. Yeah. yeah, I know. Yeah, great one. Well done. So we're going to get that in the ground. Okay. We're going to get that in the ground. The plan okay. then is to get a simple trellis built for the vineyard. When I say vineyard, I'm not going to have like hundreds and hundreds of grapevines or anything like that. Two or three rows, maybe one row. I don't know. Put in like a, a irrigation system, not a fancy one or anything like that. Just a just a basic sort of irrigation system, which I'm going to be able to plumb into what will be the guttering for the sheds when I eventually build one or get one put down there. So that we can put down there as well. So that's bees. That's what we're planning on doing with the yards. Uh, as far as YouTube is concerned and social media as a whole, I should say. Yeah. So it's YouTube to start with. We are um, last subscriber check was about 690 subscribers, so massive thank you to everybody that's joined us and subscribed to us and commenting to us and all that sort of stuff. Like I said, this this channel has kind of grown a lot more than I ever expected it to do. So the fact that you guys are still with us and still watching and, and I hope still enjoying the channel is massive to me. So thank you so much. And um, the other thing, social media wise, Facebook wise, we've got the Brooklyn's Honeybees Facebook page. That's really kind. Of, that's to be honest, it's it's kind of more for our, like local people to see what's going on when we've got honey available. Really, um, Instagram, we've got some pictures going on, which is lovely. And we've just started, or we're trying to start TikTok. Now, I've never really understood TikTok. Never really done anything with tiktok but i downloaded it the other day i've started a, a um a page up funnily enough it's uh, at brooklyn's honeybees and you can find us on tiktok and go from there it's um it's not got a very big following at the moment i said i've got a few people following the, the um the page and i'm not really too sure about what i'm doing about putting things up there but we've got some short videos which go up on tiktok which i quite enjoy making and some people enjoy watching them so YouTube, Facebook, TikTok. That just sounds weird to say. And um, Instagram as well. So there are social medias. Uh, so that's bees, what hopefully we're doing. Uh, the yard, hopefully what we're going to be doing. Social media sort of side of things, what we're going to do. In. Have I got to say anything else? Riley, have I got to say anything else? No. No? Okay. So that's pretty much it. Like I said, I, I'm probably going to do a few of these lives going forward just purely because the fact that it's um it's an easier way of giving some sort of updates my phone is now telling me that it's overheating so i'm gonna have to stop it there anyway uh but like i said a few a few updates in the future come in this way so keep your eyes peeled we'll have loads more coming and fingers crossed we'll have a video coming up in the next few days as well and that's going to be mainly of us doing the work of the yard and also checking over the bees as well so that being said massive thank you for watching massive thank you for sticking with us massive thank you to everything like i said our our goal for subscribers this year was 700 we're currently at 690 so please if you haven't already consider giving this channel a subscribe share comment like all that sort of jazz and you have yourself an amazing day all the best yeah take care